Hello everybody, welcome back to Simulated Heaven, and we've got a new game, Aviator Bush Pilot. Yes, and as you can see from the menu, it's by our friends UIG, yes, who uh, are the publishers, I believe, for things like Agricultural Simulator and Woodcutter Simulator, and quite a lot of the time their games are kind of unfinished, they show interesting ideas but are unfinished. Um, anyway, let's see what this game is like. Start game. I did already start something here, but I'm going to start a new profile for this to show you what it's like from the very start of the game. I just basically I've only really played the game a short time just to get used to the controls. Really, just to get used to the controls. Now the thing that's funny, as you can hear, they have the same music that they have. From um, uh, historical farming, I believe has the same exact music, and I think they also have it in Agricultural Simulator 2013 as well, I believe. So I'm using the Xbox 360 controller. We can actually change. I believe we can actually change the. Here we go, Blues on Air, classic Bush Radio. You know what, I need to be careful because I imagine some of this music they don't have the rights to or something, I don't know. So let's just, yeah, let's keep it on Rocking Bush FM. So we got a PDA, whoopsie, we press F2 to cycle through the various things in the PDA, like this. So I'm going to have it on the first uh, screen so it shows me some of the basic stuff, uh, you know, like how far away from the target I am. Okay, so as you can see, this is my aircraft. And I think straight away you can see the graphics are not the best. I mean, this is a game that costs $14.99 US. So you can see the graphics are kind of fairly basic. And again, when you look inside at the interior, Again, very, very basic looking interior. I don't think this is a game which is marketed at the serious flight sim enthusiast. It's more for like the casual person that wants to have a go at flying, but is not, you know, not really looking for absolute accurate simulation. So you see that big yellow diamond thing over there, that's what we're aiming for. So, I, yeah, like I said, I am using the Xbox 360 controller, so my flying will be slightly erratic. But anyway, I and I'm kind of finding it hard in this game to regulate the power with the Xbox 360 controller, anyway. So, yeah. And for some reason, there's like black. It looks like the shards of a forest fire, or it looks like when someone burns paper it it's like their idea of a particle effect look on the right side there but it looks to me like it's someone burning paper I think it might even be an attempt at birds I don't know but I mean for, for a game that's 1499 I mean you could say that the, the weather effect the weather effects and stuff it's not too bad but it's certainly not really up to 2014 standards is it okay so I need to kind of start slowing myself and you see I'm all over the place right now all over the place right let's and oh so the power is yeah that you can see the power is really hard to work out I find anyway so we're heading into this runway here and it really is not realistic you can basically do a landing way faster than you should be able to and stuff like that that's what I find so there's no real realistic flight model physics or anything like that. Although you can see in the top left there, whoops, they do have some stuff. Like they do have the rate of climb and all that and the speed and the power, but you can see it's not really a realistic thing, you know. Oh, so I can also use the trigger on the on the controller 
Okay, so let's stop at when it gets to zero meters distance to target. You can see there's some kind of particle, eff particle effects. I mean, it's not too bad, it's, but it's not great. Right, let's just stop here because I think we got. Okay, so then what you can do, post delivered. Oh, press fire, press fire button to board the return flight. See, sometimes it doesn't really tell me the Xbox 360 control, so I don't really know. Okay, so here we are. So now we're on, it says we're now on the return flight. Okay, so I was, I was delivering post, it seems. Now I should be able to take off from this part, I think. Whoa, 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 do, 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 do. Okay, we're going to do the other way. We're going to do it the other way because... Whoa, 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 dude, I think I just hit something. Whoops. What is going on? Okay. I think I just hit something. Like I said, I find the power regulation. Oh, everything is quite high the position. The, the condition, I mean. So, I don't think I did hit something. Because the condition of the airplane is still there, but you see, I can't, I can't easily regulate the power in this using the Xbox 360 control. It's kind of annoying, but I should be able to take off from here. I should be fine. Like, like I said, it's not completely realistic. In fact, it's not realistic at all, really. So I believe we're going just back to where we came from. We can actually take off a little bit earlier than yeah okay so we're fine Whee. well but i mean for, for the price they're asking 14.99 first impressions are it's it's not worth 14.99 yeah i i think they're supposed to be birds or bats but it just looks like burnt black paper i don't know um another thing i would say is that the frame rate is really low for some reason. It's like a really low frame rate but that I am getting, or very erratic. And you can see from the graphics, from the gameplay, that the frame rate is not a consistent frame rate. So, you know, all in all, first impressions are not great. I mean, even though it's not aimed at the flight simulator kind of guy, it's obviously aimed at the the guy who's a more kind of casual person but still even for those guys I think this is way to like low quality really not great I mean if you wanted that surely you should go with something like Microsoft Flight maybe I don't know like maybe there aren't enough good like casual flight games out there but as you'll see from this landing, or lack of landing, you can basically do whatever you want in this game. So, I am, uh, <laughs> to be fair, there was some kind of a consequence to that bad landing, I suppose. Right, we need to go back to this so I can see my position. Okay, so I believe we need to go to the target over here. But yeah, again, the power went up way faster. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so we need to go down here. So it's not completely terrible, but it's certainly not that great. I'm pretty sure there must be, for a casual flight person, someone who wants a bit of a casual flying game, there must be better options out there than this it just seems very low low rent to me you know very low rent low budget okay we're going too slow now and then we're going to be going too fast like i said i really can't seem to regulate it very well do we actually have to stop exactly on the thing it says Right, if we go to the, the other map, oh yeah, there's a yellow thing, isn't there? So, I think we do have to stop on that yellow thing for it to end the mission. But like I said, 
we're really not doing a good job here. It's the power is just so hard to regulate. Right, here we go. So 40, so if I break now, 25 meters. Why is the thing here? Oh no, it's changed. Okay, let's just stop here, whatever. Okay, there we go. Landing is successful, really. <laughs> At least you can rely on a pilot. Well, not a very good pilot, but I know what you mean. Okay guys, that was the first episode, doing the first mission. I'll probably do a, at least one more episode to show you a few more of the missions. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.